There are more than 370 million indigenous peoples in the world. Indigenous peoples are a mirror to the past. Their culture and spiritual beliefs, their rituals and ancient traditions remind us of our common birthplace and that our world today is drastically different from the world of a century ago before the so-called modernization processes. Development and local economic development mean different things to different people. For indigenous peoples, they are the right to define their own needs and aspirations for development. This is the rights-based approach to local economic development. Indigenous peoples across the world face numerous challenges in relation to their livelihoods and their economic, social and cultural development. Dominant development models have failed to enhance their cultures and improve their livelihoods. Por un lado nos sentimos privilegiados por estar con ellos, pero por otro lado nos sentimos porque decimos, pero si el dinero nunca nos llega a nosotros, ¿no? O sea, ellos generan riqueza, riqueza y riqueza, pero nosotros generamos pobreza y pobreza, ¿no? Porque no tenemos los mecanismos, el mecanismo de empleadores de ser una empresa. Indigenous peoples are not adverse to development. On the contrary, indigenous communities and organizations are actually aware that they are disproportionately represented among the world's poor. The question is whether development as we know it is part of the solution or part of the problem. A rights-based approach to LED offers an alternative. The very principles of LED as locally defined, driven and owned development initiatives are fully aligned with their notion of self-determined development. The ILO has an instrument to promote and implement the rights of indigenous peoples, ILO Convention 169. Convention 169 says that indigenous peoples should be consulted and should freely participate at all levels of decision making. Isn't this what is at the heart of LED? It is. But national development agendas have often set aside the rights and aspirations of indigenous peoples. Traditional technologies for sustainable resource management are seen as an obstacle to development. No, hay dos cosas fundamentales. Los, eh, eh, para fomentar lo local, la gente tiene que tener eh, cuestiones básicas: territorio para poder mantener, eh, generar su propia cultura, su propio conocimiento, su propia gastronomía, su propia cocina, su propia comida y eso hace que la gente, digamos, pueda tener una seguridad alimentaria. Eh, por ejemplo, Paraguay produce para 300 millones de personas la, la soya, se, se deforesta el monte, se desplaza gente eh, y también para el, para el ganado, o sea, la gente indígena es desplazada de los territorios porque grandes capitales se instalan para poder sacar la carne a nivel mundial. Y, y bueno, ¿y quiénes son los perjudicados? La gente local. Y lo único que queda es, eh, bueno, eh, buscar aliados, aliados importantes que puedan por lo menos decir, bueno, paremos esto de alguna manera. Y tiene que ver con lo político, tiene que ver con lo económico. Y si no hay una decisión firme del gobierno o de la sociedad civil con el gobierno, entonces es muy difícil combatir. Following the disastrous impact of climate change and the loss of biodiversity, the developed world should acknowledge the fruitfulness of the spiritual system and lifestyle of indigenous peoples. Basically, uh, we've seen the impacts of uh, climate change uh, that and indigenous peoples have been adapting and trying to cope with climate change all these years. But what we are saying is that as it gets more serious, and already some indigenous people uh, are seeing this, it may not be possible for us to adapt anymore. We, we see that they are likely to be uh, suffering more because direct, they have a direct dependence on natural resources. The ILO supports traditional forms of occupation. Traditional jobs are crucial for LED, and they secure indigenous peoples with a decent income. At the same time, the creation of income earning opportunities within the community is crucial to stop migration, especially of young women and men. LED strategies should therefore focus on assets and resources rather than on deficiencies and needs. El desarrollo local tiene importancia por sí mismo porque construye bienestar, construye competitividad, otorga la posibilidad de construir futuro. Pero lo que se está agregando en estos días 
es que tenemos la responsabilidad de meter la discusión en la discusión de la crisis global. La crisis global no es solamente temas macro, es una crisis de modelo. Possible entry points for LED initiatives in indigenous communities are increasing market access for local products, building appropriate infrastructure that does not displace people, and promoting a democratic space to sustain indigenous organizations. Indigenous peoples are our mirror to the past, supporting LED initiatives that preserves their way of life and guarantees sustainable livelihoods is the best way to preserve our own origins and to guarantee a future for us and for the environment.